<laughs> Vic, did you just call your own wife a fat, ugly bitch? Did you just call your own wife a fat, ugly bitch? Vic, you are that motherfucking stupid. See that, L.A.? You sent the tick out. He was your forces. He went in there and he marched in that motherfucking room. Vic went to the bus stop and caught the bus. And Vic will never be seen and heard from ever the fuck again. That was embarrassing. That was totally. It was sad. It was a motherfucker. Like they said in the game, it was a flawless motherfucking victory. Vic, you took your bitch ass over there to Tommy. I thought you was ready, Victor. You was all this shit. You played your WWF music. You went in there, Victor Mount, and got your ass stomped. I mean, obliterated. You sit there and literally, they made you show a picture of that baboonian ass woman you got. And you kept it up, Vic. That means all them niggas got pictures now of your ugly ass wife. Now, between you and that baboonian bitch and that fat titty bitch, Got that bozo bitch. Now, I want to know between the two of you, Kevin or you, who has the ugliest motherfucking wife? You understand what I'm saying? But I know you so goddamn stupid. You think you won. You think you went in there and cleaned Tommy's clock. See, you going to make a video tomorrow telling how you clean Tommy's clock. And everybody in Slap of Don's group laughed at you. Do you understand that, Vic? They laughed at your stupid, ignorant ass. And where was L.A.? Where was the fat titty bitch? Where was the, supposed to be the two most powerful motherfuckers in the roast arena? Why the fuck you sent a toad, bitch, when you supposed to be a king, nigga? A king goes first. A king don't go last. A king don't stay up on no motherfucking hill while his men fight. The king is the first one in and the last one out, my nigga. See, you don't even know nothing about kingship. See, because you a worm-ass bitch and you under a rock. You sent Vic to be slaughtered. Ain't that some shit? You sent that tick bitch to be literally destroyed. See, Vic, you literally destroyed your own motherfucking self. You don't have no YouTube fans, bitch. You are a joke. People are laughing at you, my nigga. Everybody in Slap of Dawn, all them people, they called your wife like her face looked like being hit by a truck. You ought to read the shit. You need to go back to that video. And if your wife sees this motherfucking video, what you did, she is going to beat your ass, my nigga. She going to say, you stupid, ignorant fuck. You put your wife picture up there and you let these niggas mock your wife. See how stupid the fuck you are, nigga? You let these niggas mock your wife. And then you called your own wife a fat, ugly bitch. Now you tell me where some intelligence is in that type of shit. And you tell me, L.A., this is what the fuck you sent? You so goddamn chicken shit. You can't go to the bus stop, get on the bus, bitch, and go face Tommy. You're supposed to be a bad bitch, right? But you failed in even that. 
You sent the weakest motherfucker. Oh, so that's what it was. Vic was a sacrifice, huh? <laughs> you just sent this bitch in there to be sacrificed. Who's next? Who's next, L.A.? Oh, you going to send Eva in there next? You going to send Eva to go in there in the bus stop to attack Tommy? Or are you man enough to send that fat titty bitch? Now, he said he was a bad bitch. You supposed to be two badass niggas. Why you two niggas are waiting? What the fuck? So, you fat titty bitch, are you next? Are you going in the bus stop, catch the bus, and go get fucked over? Or are you, L.A., are you coming out from under your motherfucking rock? You watch the shit. You watch all that shit. You watch this dumb bitch destroy himself. Made a mockery of his own motherfucking wife. This motherfucker is slow. I told you in the video, he's a slow bitch. But I see. L.A., you like sacrificing the slow bitches, right? Because you ain't got no manhood in you.